In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little unboxing slash a catch up with you guys because I feel like I'm back to my usual self. In fact, I don't know if I can use the word usual because I personally go through very severe mood swings and it's not just around my period. When I'm on my period, I'm actually super calm. I'm not gonna, I am not someone that likes to take medication for pain. I'm that crazy person that will endure the pain and I'll tell my body that this is gonna pass. Yeah, I'm sure you guys have noticed my content has been a bit all over the place. The last video I filmed, I was feeling very low. However, it wasn't my utmost low. I basically go through phases in my life where I'm at super high points and super low points. I think it's very common for content creators to actually go through these swings. It's just a mental thing that I deal with and I know you guys have noticed the nails. This was not me being impulsive, but it kind of was. I'm an impulsive person. I also have been diagnosed on the spectrum of ADHD, but that's like a topic for another day. In fact, I don't really think it's a topic for any day. I have mild ADHD. <laughs> I'm not just self-diagnosing or like Google diagnosing or TikTok diagnosing. I've been going, like I've been in therapy for years. I know a lot of you guys have noticed nails and they're like, this is not Laylee, who is this? Hate acrylic gel nails. I don't even know what the hell these kind of nails are. Gel, acrylic, I don't know the difference. I don't wish to know the difference, nor do I care about the difference. All I want you guys to know is, if you don't do these nails, consider yourself lucky. I'm a short nail kind of girl. I like my nails clean cut, short, not scruffy, always red, always, always red. And like square shape, these are like coffin cut. Like they, mm, they repulse me, they really repulse me. The reason I got these nails was obviously when I go through periods of low months, my nails get picked at, get chewed on. I know it's a disgusting habit. I'm currently editing this video and watching this back, I'm like, why am I rambling and babbling so much? I can't handle it. So I'm just gonna interject here every so often and just cut to the chase. Yeah, got the nails because my nails are looking disgusting. I couldn't wait for them to grow. So I got these on and I still have them on. I had them redone because I'm still waiting for my nails to grow. I do find these disgusting and extremely unhygienic, but I do scrub them with a little dishwashing scrubber. I don't know what it is every time I wash my nails because I can't handle unhygienic nails. That is just to summarize the nails. Let's just move on now. You guys came for an unboxing. Let's get into this unboxing. We have my little helper here, Mr. Louie, who's sleeping on everything, but it's fine. Let's start with Hermes. I went into the Hermes store with Ansi. This is when she was here. So this is taking us back to literally end of May, beginning of June. And they had them. They just didn't have them my size. I saw them on, I think, Instagram. And I was like, wow, that is the perfect green. Every time I wear my purple Chanel bag, I'm like, I wish I had green shoes to go with these. I'm going to bring the bag and show you guys. But these are, I think it's Ver Pom. Pom de ver. Ver pom. So green apple. I'm not gonna lie, I am very much over around sandals. I don't wear them as often as you'd think, considering how many colors I have. Like I said, I have that issue where I just have to keep buying stuff in every single color if I wear it a lot. Even though I don't wear these a lot, I like to have the option of having them. I think I prefer the Oasis. I think it's called the Oasis. The ones with the heels, the little heels. I used to absolutely despise those. I thought those were horrific. But now I'm a kiss and heels kind of girl. I'm getting into them. So first up we have yellow and green. Yellow and green is not my usual kind of color combo, but I feel like this looks beautiful, like an oversized white shirt, denim cutoffs, perfect beach look. Orange and green. Now this isn't really showing up that well on camera, but together in real life, cute. The main reason I got these was purely for this bag. I love purple and green together. I think it just looks so amazing. Also, I'm gonna be walking around like a little sorbet. Next, I know I said I was gonna stop buying Amina Moadis and I'll be honest, I'm kind of over her shoes. But once in a while, she comes out with a few bangers. When I find a style I like, particularly in shoes, I rebuy them. This is a pair I don't have. So I took a risk. Because I love the style, I just didn't know about the comfort and how they'd look on me. However, I'm so glad I bought two pairs because I love them. So these are the Amina Muadi Caroline sandals. I absolutely love these. I think they're so elegant. Compared to the Lupitas that I have, I think these are more elegant on me. The Lupitas are lovely, don't get me wrong, but the Caroline I love because it has like a little pointed toe and I like the shape of like the peep toe. It doesn't show too much toe. I'm someone that doesn't like toes, so <laughs> even the word toe just freaks me out. No, I loved the color. I thought this was such a stunning bright baby blue. And then also I wanted to get a pair in pink because I realized I don't have any pink shoes like this. 
there. I'm definitely trying to expand my collection of shoes in terms of variation. I do have very similar styles in a bunch of different colors. So variation and options is important. Even though I have nowhere to go and nowhere to wear them and I'm now someone that works and doesn't really leave my house if I don't have to. I'll be honest, I think I'm just hoarding because I like how they look in my closet. It's something I've always dreamed of having, a massive closet with rainbow colored shoes and bags and accessories. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Basically um, enabling my addiction and making all my dreams come true at the same time. So, you know, can't complain. I actually have found a dupe to these. I mean, it's not really a dupe. It's another designer brand that does similar pair. So I'll insert pictures and a link down below if you guys want to check those out. They're a lot cheaper than these. I wasn't the biggest fan of Valentino until I saw their recent collections. The pink collection, fantastic. Wait, has it been pink every single collection? I'm not someone that keeps up with fashion, I'm not gonna lie. I just, I see it on Instagram, I appreciate it. I'm not someone that like avidly watches the shows. I used to when I was a lot younger and I wanted to pursue a career in like high fashion. I genuinely thought there was a new creative director because of how Valentino has just blossomed, but I read that the creative director was working, I think his name is Pier Paolo. Pier, yeah, Pier Paolo was working with the creative director of Dior, Maria Grazia Chiu. Yeah. And she left. I think it was her. She was bringing everyone down. Look, I love what she does at Dior. It's a bit bland. It's a bit repetitive, but she's a Dior girl. What Valentino is doing, what Pier Paolo is doing on his own. You're killing it, babe. They are killing it, especially with these shoes. Now, I bought these shoes thinking that they were these shoes. However, I realized that they are not. They are the new style of Valentino Tango sandals that have been released. In fact, I don't think a lot of people actually managed to get their hands on the previous peep toe version. I saw a few people, but not a lot. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen I was wearing these a lot. In fact, I wore them in my last video when I was shooting. I'm obsessed. I got these in a size 35 and a half. I do kind of wish I got a 36 as they are slightly tight around the toe area. They're a little bit tight. I love that your toes don't like jut out of them. They are very elegant. They are very cute. I love these and I wanted the pair in white. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go for the completely covered tango platforms or if I wanted to go for the sandals. Then I saw the sandals and I was like, yeah, I'm sold. These also come in gold. I'm a gold girl and they kind of remind me of the YSL platforms that were released a few years ago, I want to say. I hated those because they had a wraparound thing and they were super chunky. They just looked, they just gave complete 70s vibes and for someone that's small and slightly on the stubbier side when it comes to like the proportion of my legs, I just knew that it wasn't gonna work. But these are definitely very elegant and I would highly recommend. In fact, I'll be honest, they make my legs look so much longer. These shoes are magic. They just make me feel so hot. I got this on sale on Farfetch. It's not a trump cap. It kind of looks like a trump cap from a distance. It says bad hair, just FYI. I feel like Trump could use this. I did a Selfridges haul and I haven't shopped on Selfridges in a very long time. This was a cute haul. This was the item I was waiting the most for, which everyone seems to hate. I'm really loving bucket hats right now. I'm not gonna lie. As opposed to a cap, I'm a bucket hat kind of girl. It's just the vibe I wanna be. So this is the bucket hat. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of people bought the sandals. Now, I really want the sandals. However, I do want to try them on. They have a bow detailing on the ankle. And as someone that's small and stumpy, I feel like it could make me just look smaller and stumpier. It's a bit of an issue. I love this. This is actually considered to be a reversible hat. In fact, when I got it, it literally looked like this. And I was like, wait, what is this? This is not okay. No, 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 no. Like, why would I wear this? And what? Turn this up. That looks ridiculous. Selfridges have a brand called The Crypt, which I'd seen a lot of on Instagram. I saw a few cute pieces. It was 55 pounds. The quality is not bad. It gives kind of fast fashion vibes, but, but the quality of their jersey is a lot thicker and denser than what I would assume Boohoo would do. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I'm not wearing a bra and there's no nips. I really like it. I love the design. It's like a great alternative to a Christopher Esper design. Yeah, 10 out of 10, definitely keeping this. I mean, I have no choice. I bought this a month ago. Okay, then we've got this one. Now this looks very similar to a Jack Moose piece. Okay, this pink top is a little bit more revealing than I would have liked it to be. I've tightened it as tight as I can possibly tighten it, but I mean, it's cute. I was looking for a long sleeve, casual, yet 
not super basic, colourful tank top slash top. And it's a great dupe of the Jack Moose one. I'm glad I didn't buy that now because I don't feel like I'm going to wear this that often, but I'm not mad about it because I didn't spend too much money on it. Also, the great thing is you can wear a bra with this. It was quite open. I'm actually wearing a push-up bra. You know what? Do you know what's funny? If Jack Moose didn't do this piece, I would just instantly think it was a high street piece. Like, just because it's Jack Moose, automatically people are like, wow. I wouldn't buy it in other colours. Maybe black. I need to stop buying black. I need to stop buying black and I need to stop buying white. Then, this was something I was really excited about, but unfortunately, I don't think it's going to fit me. When I brought these out, my mother was flabbergasted. She was like, what the hell are those? Now, I don't think I can actually return them. These were not super expensive. Oh, God. Ooh. They smell like a fish market. I'm not going to lie. I can only imagine what they smell like after wearing them. They're a cute, stinky, long pair of pants. They come in a variety of different colors. This is a small. I'm going to try them on just to show you guys what they look like. I really wanted these to work. Then I picked up this sweatshirt. I think you might have seen it in my last video. And this is from Revolve. In fact, I got a bunch of like skincare and like health products from Revolve, like tools that I wanted to show you guys. I actually did an unboxing. I will put that in another video. Quality of this is really bad. I'm not gonna lie. This is a medium and it's genuinely like a standard large size. Like this is huge. I have been living in it though. It's one of those oversized massive sweatshirts that you just kind of live in. It has my favorite French word on it. Next, I got this cute little, little dress from Jack Moose. They have this in other colors on sale. This came and i was completely shocked by the fabric it's like this stretchy kind of like spongy material okay i'll be honest with you guys i did plan on trying this dress on for you so this is the jack moose dress this is an ordeal to put on and take off i know because i have worn it didn't take any pictures in it i wish i did but i did film a video in it which i'll show you guys soon however this was a real struggle to put on and take off i'm not even joking Maybe I should have gone up a size. I got size 32, probably could have done a 34. Although if the fit was good, it's just, the fabric is stretchy. It's just not stretchy enough. It is a little bit long, so I'm probably gonna have to get it cut. Then this is my favorite piece, which I got from Farfetch. This is a dress from Courage, Courage. And it is stunning. It's a little bit long, slightly large but i can get that adjusted i also got this because it is the perfect little white dress to wear to like a formal lunch a formal dinner and when i say formal i don't mean like a black tie obviously you can wear this with like kitten heels you can even wear this with chunky valentino heels alternatively even this pair of heels i love the fabric it's in this structured kind of fabric it doesn't have pockets these are faux pockets but it has this cut out in the front it has like detailing on the bust area to give you kind of shape and this detailing of like the neck strap as well as a cutout in the back it has a zip honestly so beautiful i love this brand i think this is one of my new favorite brands okay the next piece is this tank top and honestly i love that pieces they come up with some really cute easy to wear tank tops and like basics like dresses I actually wore this outfit to dinner quite a while ago. The look is on my Instagram. I wore it with my blue Bottega clutch and of course my blue Amina Mouardis with like a sleeveless jacket on top. Super cute. I love these tank tops. They're great quality. I mean, it's a bit see-through. I am wearing a white bra. That's not great. Nonetheless, great piece. I have worn it, so there is a little stain. So let's just ignore that. I really like their tank tops. I wish my bra wasn't showing. Okay, so I've had my eye on this beautiful black Magda Buchan dress for the longest time. This is not it. This is a dupe, and it's almost exactly the same. This is a dupe from Revolve, which I absolutely love. It's almost exactly the same, and usually I do not condone buying dupes. I'll be honest, I don't see the point in buying dupes, but then again, everyone buys from Zara, and everyone knows that Zara rips off literally almost every single brand. When it comes to pieces like this, I don't really mind because I know the quality of Magda Boutram dresses and whilst they are stunning, I buy for the design and not for the quality, I'll be honest. The quality of the dresses, particularly like this, her more like extravagant pieces with like the big flowers and stuff, those are a lot better. 
but the quality of like her fitted like ruched dresses i mean they're good don't get me wrong they're not awful but this is almost exactly the same this is in this beautiful like spanxy black jersey fabric it's just so cute this is a little bit big i got the smallest size you can actually wear it like this as well i think paired with like an oversized white blazer or like a black blazer this would look amazing i do feel slightly naked in this i'm not gonna lie so i'm gonna put on a jacket and suddenly i feel more comfortable colorful pair of heels you can even wear flats this could be like a little beach dinner dress 10 out of 10 would recommend it was also a bargain i'm not gonna lie it was a bargain it was a steal now i have a little van cleef and arpels unboxing i spend a lot of money on jewelry and it's just not the right time in the world to be discussing expensive things sitting here and being like yeah this is what i got i just i just spent the cost of someone's house on like this bangle like it's just i can't do that it's not who i am yes i like nice things yes i buy nice things but i'm not gonna sit here and talk about them like that so that was my little haul um i hope you guys enjoyed the video i will be back next week i'm gonna try and push two videos this week because i'm feeling fantastic i feel like i can do two videos this week some days i don't feel great like i said but this week i'm feeling good i'm feeling positive so let's see i will see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button tap that bell to get notified every time i upload i will see you in my next video